Why do you need any assault rifles? An assault rifle is different than a gun. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I want to go through here a couple of things, what the media got wrong about the Sutherland Springs shooting, now that the dust has kind of settled. Question of the day. Have you found it increasingly hard to get a straight story on this? I found this to be the case progressively with each shooting, but particularly this last one. And I don't just mean like online fake news and clickbait sites, but even from mainstream outlets with updates that you know we've tried to give you, the radio silence you see from CNN and some of these mainstream outlets is, 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 is odd to me. It's deafening. Have, have you noticed that? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting to this point where I'm paranoid, but to lead this off, I've, I've discussed this. I think that the, the, the firearm argument in this country, the Second Amendment argument, argument that's taking place is it occurs between two parties gun owners and the completely uninformed for evidence of that roll msnbc clip someone well, has to help you crazy. cash a check but you can buy well, a gun well, well that's the root of the argument for why we need to start talking about repealing the the second amendment because so long as you have a constitutional right to it the the number of laws that you can pass to prevent people like like yesterday's shooter from acquiring weapons is is going to be limited you know i said this earlier it should not be easier to get a gun than it is to get a beautician's license. It should not be easier to get a gun than it is to get a driver's license. This is a potentially deadly weapon. Right, because a 16-year-old texting behind the wheel of a Chevy Suburban isn't. <laughs> not, not at all. <laughs> exactly. Not at all. That's first car I learned to drive, by the way. Chevy, Chevy Suburban. Suburban? Yeah, it could have killed a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, think about you it. Were you were aiming for animals. Driving <laughs> tons of steel, glass, and gasoline behind you. Yeah. To get a firearm, you have to have a state-issued ID, yeah. usually to driver's license. Either way, you, you have to go through the process. So he's wrong two times here. Yeah. You have to go through the process to get a state ID and then use that to then go through the background check when you purchase a firearm. Anyone who has purchased a firearm knows that this is false. Yeah. But at least he's being honest now, just saying we should repeal the Second Amendment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's come down to the actual point that they want. They live in a fantasy world that none of us can live in, where guns don't exist, and that's, <laughs> sorry, they, that's not what happens. Well, because none of these, none of the laws they propose would have stopped any of these shootings. No, they know that, no. and the only thing that would stop it in their eyes would be a complete repeal of the Second Amendment. Uh, and then there's this other little nugget. Why do you need any assault rifles? An assault rifle is different than a gun. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> Thank you, this is news? This is television. <laughs> An assault rifle is different than a gun. Hmm. Do tell. Do tell. <laughs> okay, so this is just, again, uninformed and firearm owners. But here's some claims that they made. The media has made that are ver that's verifiably false. So one of the claims that we saw, I think it was CNN, they reported that the shooter was Sam Hyde. Uh, roll the clip, then we'll provide context. Do you know anything about the attacker? We don't. Um, it was reported to me that he's actually not from this community. Apparently, his name was released as Sam Hyde. That was the name I was I was uh, given. <laughs> it's just it's a classic 4chan meme. It's a joke about every shooting. They put it out. Sam yes. Hyde. It's troll bait. Oh no! And the media is consistently bamboozled. <laughs> It's fun, funny thing about CNN, state of the art studios, no access to Google. No access to Google. <laughs> They're like the Burger Meister Meister Burger when Chris Kringle keeps bringing in toys. Just yeah. check the stockings, CNN. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was your Democrat representative. <laughs> Good on you, voters. <laughs> Another claim that the shooter purchased the weapon through the domestic violence loophole. <laughs> oh, good lord. Um, uh, left wing agencies would promote that this is a new fictitious loophole. Uh, I don't even know I have a chip to process this sometimes where I'm like, I don't know how to process this in any other way than reductive. There are <laughs> laws preventing people, in case you didn't know, people with domestic violence charges from purchasing firearms. That's it's been there for a long time. The, the, the employees just, they, they failed to log the info on the shooter. And the, the <sighs> domestic violence loophole. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by well? He bro he broke the law. He he shouldn't have been able. To, he, he broke the law. That's not. That's the loophole. <laughs> that's, that's the loophole. That's... Also, you know what else he got through the loophole? His domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Breaking the law is not a loophole. It's like there's a there's the rape in the alley loophole. <laughs> there's the Kevin Spacey touch a little boy when parents aren't looking loophole. But what do you mean? He just did it anyway. He did it. He raped someone in an alley. You just can't fix stupid. How do they, they just take anything? The good thing is now they've overreached. So you know the gun show loophole is a joke. Yeah. 
It's well, it's it's the new cause du jour. They got to get that loophole closed because, and when they fix that, they'll they'll be they'll, they'll be a new convenient the loophole. The bad person loophole. The bad it's person domestic. loophole. I read this and my brain froze for about five seconds. <laughs> so nobody nobody believes this. There's a domestic violence loophole. Like if you were to read the law, there's a law in the books like Section One A: Those who commit domestic violence shall not purchase firearms. Section One B: Sub clause. Except there's a loophole. <laughs> He but you broke have to the figure law. It out. <laughs> he beat his wife over a casserole, and then he got a gun. <laughs> you can't do that. I just read this. I'm like, I really had that moment where I'm thinking, am I just really stupid? <laughs> <laughs> At some point, you question your own sanity. <laughs> Domestic violence loophole. Anyway, it's been all over the, the, the news. <laughs> yeah. The news. Okay, so another one that they used was, they, they claimed that the shooter used an evil assault rifle, right? But the good guy with the gun used a hunting rifle. Now this comes from Slate. <laughs> Slate. It said, Kelly used an assault rifle in his church massacre. The weapon used by Williford has been described merely as a rifle. Merely. Which suggests a hunting or sport rifle rather than an assault weapon. <laughs> Incorrect. They don't even Oops. know why that phrase is, that paragraph is so embarrassing. They don't even know. First off, they're wrong in their claim. And then they're wrong in their suggestion from the claim. <laughs> Now, Wilford, we had the exclusive interview with him, an extended interview you can watch on, on our channel. Yeah. He was the good guy with the gun. He used an AR-15. Mm -hmm. hmm. The same kind of firearm Scary. that the leftists always want to ban. Fun and, fact. And, and by also the way, it's like, a sporting and hunting firearm. Yes, yes I know. It's like, weird. It's like which synonyms. Which Stephen is quite proficient with. Yeah, so, yards. so is Naki Jared. So are you. Yards, knocked it out. And, and by the way, Slate did retract this only after being called on it by, uh, I think, Robino at Conservative Review. So they issued a retraction. But <laughs> I just don't, how do you get it that wrong? Yeah. Here's a, and it leads into the, another claim that you've seen. They, they've claimed that his, her, his heroism, Williford, didn't accomplish anything because the shooting was already over. So this is something, here's, here's why they do this. Because the whole good guy with a gun narrative, the left has been saying, well, that's not really true. What do you think? You're, you're Rambo? You think you'll run? You think you'll save anyone with your gun? They, they've tried to claim that it doesn't exist. Here is a picture-perfect scenario of a good guy, a borderline saint, a man who looks like Santa Claus who rides Harleys for underprivileged <laughs> children using an AR-15 saving lives, and they, they want to brush it under the rug. They say, no, oh, there's nothing to see here. He, here's something that they, they, they don't report, okay? Um, first off, you wanted to say something, Gerald? I, I was going to say that, that, yeah, you see that, and then you see the little subset that says, and if prayers would have helped, they were praying in church. You see that little anti-Christianity thing right on top of that. Yeah. So they don't, wanna, they don't wanna acknowledge that this guy was a good guy with a gun that they're scared of, or that Christians have any kind of bearing on this country at all. It was, yeah, it was, I, know. I was so, I, I don't even Which know, is remarkable to me. It's a guy went in and he shot up a church. Yeah. And, read, and they're like, oh, you, 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 thoughts Christians. and prayers, thoughts and prayers that way. If prayers would have helped, I would have been it, saying, I'm like, that's not true. It's a cliche. Yeah. You know, the whole thoughts and prayers thing. I think it's something that people say, like, in French, they just always mm. say, my, my condolences yeah. is just yeah, the yeah, main yeah. thing that they say when someone dies. You're like, okay, you have to say it. That being said, just don't attack the people who say it. But they said yeah. this wouldn't have stopped anything because the shooting had already occurred. Now, here's the truth. The shooter was actually walking around making sure that people were dead, finishing them Gosh. off, execution style. Uh, and, and Wilford interrupted them. One survivor actually told the story about how the killer stopped right over her and was about to shoot, but was drawn away by Wilford. Now, Wilford also on our show said that allegedly there were more guns and ammo in the shooter's car. Wow. That's not exactly a get the hell out of Dodge Mobile. Now, we no. can't confirm that, but that's what's so remarkable about this story. It's almost impossible to confirm anything. I mean, we had Stephen Wilford on the show. We just so happened his daughter's a, a fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and he was giving us information, and I'm going, how, how is nobody else picking up on yeah. this? Well, I, th I think I think you nailed it at the beginning of this segment. That it was proactive misinformation because this yeah. I, I really you you look through this thing and I don't know how anybody any pro gun control advocates can look at this honestly and say this is a good case for them. This right. is their worst nightmare. Stephen Williford is is their worst nightmare to show up yeah. and save the day because it just it disproves so much. Yeah. It is the good guy with the gun. It is solid exactly. proof of the good guy with, with yeah. the gun. And it's a good guy with the Scenario. gun they hate the most. Exactly. exactly. And that's, that's got to be An NRA right. good yeah. guy. An NRA, <laughs> sir, here, here is, okay. So <laughs> white man. What you have been told, <laughs> right? We'll wrap this up. What you have been told is that a man legally purchased an assault rifle, which which is different from a gun. Um, <laughs> legally purchased an assault rifle and killed a bunch of people in a church and died from self-inflicted wounds. And there was some other guy with right. maybe a hunting rifle who helped speed it along. But oh my God, there's no gun. Here's the truth, okay? A man, per and he purchased it, by the way, through the domestic violence loophole. <laughs> the truth is, a man illegally purchased firearms. He had no business uh, procuring those firearms in the first place. He shot up a church full of Christians, likely motivated uh, by militant atheism, 
and he was taken out by a good Christian with an AR-15, quote unquote, assault rifle, which isn't like a gun. That's exactly what happened here. An NRA certified instructor, mind <laughs> you, was the one who saved, who, who knows how many innocent lives. And that's one thing too. When we talk about this, we always talk about uh, gun crime. You are at least, if you take the highest gun crime stat, including suicide, including accidental deaths, including gang violence, if you take that number and you compare it with the minimum number of lives saved by firearms, which is at least 500,000 to 3 million, we've covered it on the site a, a, a bunch of times, you're at least 16 times more likely to be saved by a firearm as a lawful citizen than killed by one. It's, it's up to 60, depending, because it's really hard to know how many times someone's life gets saved by a gun. Often it's just pulled out and that person's life is saved. Here we have an example of someone potentially saving dozens of lives. We certainly know that he stopped an active shooter and the media covers it zero. They pivot to gun control, specifically regarding the gun that this guy used to stop an active shooter. I, I guess you can make it work if you use a domestic violence loophole. <laughs> Is there a stupidity loophole? Let's work on that loophole. Hey, did you like this video? Of course you did. Unless there's something wrong with you, in which case you can comment below. What's your problem with this video? We want to hear from you, and we promise you 100%, I give you, my word is my bond, will answer every single negative comment. Uh, for those who are normal, you can leave a thumbs up and subscribe.